so we have basically r's complement and r minus 1's complement so these are the two type of complements which we are going to have so for a base two number that is binary numbers what are the complements which we have so basically r's complement is nothing but 2's complement and r minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 that is 1's complement so for binary numbers we will have 2's complement and 1's complement and for base 8 numbers we will have 7's and 8's complement and for base 16 we will have 16's complement and 15's complement and for base 10 we are going to have 9's complement and 10's complement so these are the different complements which we are going to have for our number systems one is uh, 2's complement and 1's complement for base 2 numbers and for base 8 numbers 7's and 8's complement and 16's and 15's complement for base 16 and 9's and 10's complement for base 10 okay now why are we using this complements what is the use why we are using this complements can anyone tell me exactly for simplifying subtraction so let's consider a scenario here so let's consider a scenario so let's say if i want to perform uh, a plus b okay for this i will design a arithmetic circuit and i can perform this a plus b operation but if i need to perform subtraction that is a minus b so instead of performing the subtraction what i can do is i can perform a plus one's complement of b a plus one's complement of b or what I can do is a plus 2's complement of b. Okay. I can either perform a plus 1's complement of b or I can either perform a plus 2's complement of b instead of this a minus b. Okay. So this is how I can I can use my complements. Now, so what is the use? We can directly perform a minus b also, right? It is not complicated. But what is the reason why we are choosing this complement method? We can directly perform subtraction, right? What is the reason we are going to choose this? Uh... So basically, if you observe, using a simple adder circuit, if I build a simple adder circuit, so using this adder circuit only, I can build both addition, I can perform both addition as well as subtraction. The subtraction is done using the complements. So the subtraction using ones and twos complement, okay? So I can use only a single circuit for perform, which is both performing addition as well as subtraction. Instead of having two separate circuits for addition and subtraction, I can use a simple uh, single circuit for performing addition and subtraction, where the subtraction is done using the complements method. Okay. So this is how we are going to. Uh, this is the application of your complements. Now, so let's try to find out how to perform one's complement. I hope you are already aware of how to perform one's complement. Again, we will discuss how to perform this one's complement. Now, so let's say if we have a binary number 0, 1, 1, 0, base 2, and if I want to perform one's complement on this number, then simply I'm going to flip the bits from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0. So whatever the 0 is present, that I will flip to 1, and whatever the bit 1 is present, that will be flipped to 0. So that means it is 1, 0, 0, 1. So this is a one's complement of the number 0, 0, 1, 0. Now, what is two's complement? How to perform two's complement? Two's complement is also simple. So two's complement, what we are doing is first we need to find one's complement and then we need to add plus one to this. So that is we have, if we want to perform 0, 1, 1, 0, base two, then if we want to perform two's complement on this, then first I need to perform one's complement that is one zero zero one and I will add plus one that is nothing but one one zero one zero one zero one zero is my two's complement of zero double one zero okay now let's say if I have one zero triple one base two can you perform two's complement and please let me know what is the answer you are getting one zero triple one to the base two so there is a direct method which you can perform. So if we have one zero one one one, and if I want to perform two's complement directly without adding one's complement plus one, what I can do is, so if I I can uh, write down the bits as it is until I encounter this one. Okay, I can write down the bits as it is until I encounter the digit one. If I encounter the digit one, I will first write it write it down as it is. And followed by this particular one, I am going to flip my bits. That is, this will become 0, this will become 0, 1, 0. 
So this is how you are going to find out the two's complement directly. Let's say suppose if I have 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, base 2. So until I have encountered 1, I'm going to write down my bits directly. 0, 0. And if I have found 1, then I'm going to write down this particular 1 as it is. And from next onwards, I'm going to flip the bits. Okay. So this is how I'm going to find out 2's complement directly. If r is equal to 8, then we have two types of complements that is 7's complement and 8's complement. So if r is equal to 8, then we will encounter two types of uh, complements which is 7's complement and 8's complement. Okay. So let's say if we have a uh, number 1, 2, 3, base 8 and if we want to perform 7's complement, then we are going to subtract 7 from each and every digit. Okay. If I want to perform 7's complement, then I am going to subtract 7 from each and every digit. So 7, 7, 7. 1, 2, 3. So 7 minus 3, 4, 5 and 6. So this is your 7's complement of the number 1, 2, 3, base 8. And if I want to perform 8's complement, I am just going to simply add plus 1 to this number. So that will become 5, 5, 6, base 8. So this is how you are going to perform 8's complement. Okay? And remaining complements are also same, 7's complement and 8's complement and 15's complement, 16's complement, you can follow the same uh, procedure, okay, where you can just simply subtract each and every digit with the uh, number or the radix, okay, then you will get your complement, okay. Now, so let us see uh, one more uh, topic like uh, how to represent your numbers. So for representing any number, we will have three type of representations. For representing a number, we will have three type of representations. One is sine magnitude representation and followed by one's complement representation and two's complement form of representation. So one is sine magnitude form of representation, one's complement representation and two's uh, complement representation. Okay. So let us try to understand one by one what do you mean by sine magnitude, one's complement and two's complement. So let us try to understand first this sine magnitude form. So in the sign magnitude form of representation, you are going to allocate one bit that is MSB bit for the sign. The MSB bit is allocated for the sign and the remaining bits, the magnitude bits and the remaining bits are for the magnitude. Okay. So let's say if we have plus 5, then for representing this plus sign, I am allocating the MSB bit. So plus is actually represented with 0 and minus is represented with 1 okay so this is how we are going to represent plus and minus so if we have plus 5 then we will represent it with 0 okay and followed by the magnitude is 101 so this is how you are going to represent plus 5 in sign magnitude form and if you want to represent minus 5 then it is nothing but 1 1 0 1 so this is how you are going to represent positive numbers and negative numbers using sign magnitude form of representation Okay, if you have sign magnitude form of representation, why what is the need why we are going to uh, one's complement form of representation and two's complement form of representation. So if I want to represent plus zero in sign magnitude form of representation, then how to represent this? So plus is nothing but zero followed by one zero or you can write two zeros or how many zeros you want, you can write it down. Okay. In how many bits you want to represent, you can represent that. Okay, so this is nothing but your uh, sign, and this is nothing but your magnitude. Okay, now, so if I want to represent minus zero, if I want to represent minus zero, then how can I represent it? So minus zero, I can represent with sorry, minus zero, I can represent it one zero zero zero. So this is my sign, and this is my magnitude. So actually speaking, is there any term like plus zero and minus zero? Do we have any terms like plus zero and minus zero? No. Okay. So we don't have the terms like plus zero and minus zero. Okay. So there is no uh, terms like plus zero and minus zero. But in the case of sign magnitude representation, you can have two represents two representations for zero. So this is the disadvantage of sign magnitude representation. So I'll write down here. There are two representations. Basically, there are two representations for zero okay that is plus zero and minus zero okay so this is wrong 
so that is why we are going to next type of representations for the representations let's say if we have three bits then how many numbers can we represent using this three bits in sign magnitude form how many values can be represented using three bits in sign magnitude form is my question please think about this and answer in the chat box so using three bits how many values can be represented in sign magnitude form is my question what is the range using three bits how many values can be represented okay so let me answer this so we have three number of bits okay so where one bit is uh, used for sign okay so let's say we have positive numbers so positive numbers can be represented with zero as your msb so zero followed by remaining bits are for uh, magnitude so that means uh, zero 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 sorry only three bits right so only two zeros so one is for sign and another is for magnitude and zero zero one zero one zero zero one one okay so that is zero one two three okay and coming to negative numbers if i want to represent my negative numbers using sm form then i will have minus zero that is one zero zero one zero one 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 zero one 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 okay that is minus zero minus one minus two and minus three so these are the numbers i can represent using my uh sign magnitude form yes am i right or wrong yes or no please let me know in the chat now what is the range now what is the range here so if i want to generalize this particular range can i write for positive numbers my range is 0 to 2 power n minus 1 minus 1 and for my negative numbers my range is minus 0 to minus uh, 2 power so this is 0 to 2 plus 2 power n minus 1 minus 1 and this is minus 0 to minus 2 power minus n sorry 2 power n minus 1 minus 1 okay so this is for my negative numbers okay so if you substitute 3 here so 2 power 3 uh, minus 1 2 power 2 4 minus 1 so that is 0 to 3 and here this is minus 0 to minus 3 okay so this is how this is the range of numbers you can represent using your sign magnitude form of representations so how to use this once complement of form of representation is for positive numbers you are not going to perform any ones complement you are going to simply write your original form only okay original number you are going to write whereas for negative numbers you are going to perform ones complement okay you are going to represent your negative numbers in the ones complement for example if you have plus 5 then you are simply going to write 101 one. that's it okay this is your plus 5 and if you have minus 5 then it is written as 0 1 0 this is nothing but your ones complement form of representation okay so for positive numbers you are not going to uh, perform any uh, complementation whereas for negative numbers you are going to perform the complement and you are going to represent them in the ones complement form of representation okay now can anyone tell me the representation of uh, plus zero in the chat box so once complement of representation of plus zero is nothing but zero only yeah exactly and for minus zero it is all ones again in again in this representation we have two representations we have one representation for plus zero and minus zero we have another representation so this is the disadvantage we are having we are still having in the ones complement form of representation now coming to two's complement form of representation again same for the positive numbers we are going to use the original form no complement on this and for negative numbers we are going to complement we are going to perform two's complement form of representation we are going to perform two's complement form of representation okay let's say suppose if we have plus 5 then we can simply write 101 one, but we have minus 5 then it is written as 110 one, okay so this is how we can represent your plus 5 and minus 5 using two's complement form of representation and once try to write down the two's complement form of representation for plus 0 in the exactly no one no no all zeros only okay once uh, check it rajesh so for plus zero and minus zero 
representation is same so there are, there is no double representation for your zero okay so in two's complement we are getting rid of this particular uh, disadvantage so there is only one representation for zero there is only one representation for zero